Have you ever wondered about whether it's safe to eat food past the best before date? And are these dates about food quality or food safety? For more, let's bring in Keith Warner. He's a professor in the food sciences department at the University of Guelph. Thanks for joining us. Oh, hi, Beverly. So, you know, let me know what your, what your take is and what they're supposed to be. We see these dates. Is it a suggestion or is it actual? Well, the actual answer is yes and no, the true political answer, isn't it? <laughs> really, the problem we have is that some foods just should never eat past the best before day. So seafood is one, sushi is another, um, deli meats is another, because they can actually harbour pathogens that could grow and it'll smell and taste fine. Now, you get other products, or the vast majority of other products, that uh, the best before date is placed on them on the pack, but it doesn't really mean that much. So we're talking about fruit and vegetables, we're talking about hard cheese, we're talking about crackers, baked goods. So really there's like three categories. There's the ones that uh, yeah, just certainly go by the best before day. Then the ones you should use your caution, your sensory uh, evaluation for, then the sort of green ones which are safe for years. Yeah, and I mean, certainly we're going to be able to smell sour milk or see curdled things on the perishable side. But how do they come up with the best before dates for, say, maybe tin goods or things that, you know, are not open to the air? So the thing is, is that anything above 90 day shelf life doesn't need a best before date. The only reason to put it on tin cans is the fact that they want stock rotation. They don't want to get to a story a few years ago where this poor woman found, uh, ate this lob lobster bisque from a cow that was five years old. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so canned foods and that are fine, but the best before dates for other products like salads, for example, or things like uh, cheeses and things like that, they're really based on a very conservative method. Sometimes the science is there, but most of the time what the producer would do, the manufacturer, he would recreate the worst case scenario. Somebody who puts their shopping in the back uh, of their car for two hours in the blazing sunshine, the refrigerators at seven degrees C. So what we see is these best before dates are literally just taken out of the air and very conservative because uh, the processor doesn't want to obviously sell you uh, spoiled goods. Well, and you know, c clearly most people would probably rather be precautionary than take a chance at getting sick. But well, let's say, for example, you, uh, you know, you have a steak and it's a few days past the best before date that says, but it looks okay and it smells okay. Is it okay? Yeah, for sure. Uh, the thing about spoiled uh, foods and that is through evolution, you know, we've uh, come to sense what's good and bad. Uh, so for a steak, for example, you'll start uh, smelling a certain aroma, this ammonia aroma, when it starts going off. And so you shouldn't take, eat it after that point. Uh, but certainly if it smells all right, looks all right, it's good. Now where the problem comes though, and we covered this a few years ago, is where should we say um, retailers start masking the sort of uh, bad uh, odors and flavors through marination, or coating it in blood or something like that. Uh, that's where things get a bit uh, gr of a gray area, but certainly if meat smells and tastes uh, good, then it uh, should be fine. Mr. Warner, as a professor in food sciences, when you pick up something that might be a little past, do you eat it? Oh, certainly. Like I say, I keep to the uh, the red zones, the deli meats and soft cheeses that I don't uh, usually eat past the best before date, but everything else, uh, yes, certainly, uh, it's fairly fine and safe. Um, you know, don't eat moldy fruits and don't eat sure. things suspecting you good. Okay. Heath Warner, certainly appreciate your expertise. Thank you. Thank you, Beverly.